in this lecture we will discuss about APB verification environment or test bench architecture with very log design and verification okay so during uh, explanation of the specification so I explained about this so this is the AP master nothing but a bridge and this is the APB slave slave interface okay so in the spec uh, we can see so this is the spec so in the APB4 spec this is the signal name this is the source which uh, either which one is uh, generating the signal either master generating or slave generating suppose if you take uh, clock clock is generating by clock source ok and uh, this will be the input to the design a reset to uh, is generating by this uh, system bus equivalent so that is also input to the design now p address who generating p address p prod p select p enable p write p write data p stop these are all generating by master apb bridge okay ready read data slave error these are coming to the master these are generating by slave okay so same we discussed see here select to write to enable address are generating by master they are coming out from the master okay so this is the spec now we have to do practically uh, verification so before doing coding we should have some idea about the verification environment or test bench architecture okay so now take this so this is the master okay just a minute so this is the master and this is the slave so here what is the DUT this what is the slave this is the DUT so this this slave contain memory so this is APB memory so we do write and read also so this memory is a RAM type memory so APB RAM memory this is the DUT this slave is the DUT okay so now in the coding we have to write the port direction with respect to design code memory okay suppose first now we signal coming we will write for example so first we will write a p address p address who generating master but with respect to the design will it become input or output so it is coming to the design so with respect to the uh, design so p address become input okay then one more signal p select so it is also coming so with respect to the design this is also input p enable or p valid with respect to the design this is also input p write data so with respect to the design this is also input ok suppose p prot P prot also with respect to design input P strobe with respect to the respect to the design this is also input ok so P already with respect to the design this is output P slave error with respect to the design this is output ok so clock is input always input to the design reset also input to the design always ok so how many signals completed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 
so two more signals one signal is p read data this is also output okay so total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so which signal we forget we'll look into spec p right okay p right signal so whether it is doing reading or writing to tell that p right so p right also input signal uh, input to the design so it will go like this okay p right so now we understood when we writing design code so with respect to that this designer slave what are coming to it those are inputs what are going out those are outputs you have to write like this so you can observe the difference so here with respect to master if we write uh, what are going out they will become uh, outputs okay so here we have to write the design code now we want to verify this so here what we verifying we are verifying this one this is the design okay so if i compare this with uh, memory so in the memory with hand shaking so this this block is this block this block is this block so this is the memory this is the test bench from the test bench i am sending the signals from the test bench i am sending valid okay those are signals i am sending okay this is the dut so in place of this test bench here now i am showing master so this is the slip so inputs sending by master uh, this test bench here outputs collecting from this slip okay that we are observing and here inputs sending from here and outputs we are collecting from this slip okay now so either we can do write operation into the uh, slave and we can uh, do read operation from the slave okay so in this case this is not the test bench just i am comparing with this okay so this is also one block okay so from the master we can write the uh, data and uh, from the slave we can read the data into the master so both we can do but with respect to coding this is our design we want to verify this one so with respect to this one we have to take the port directions okay all right